Well, hello, and welcome back to The Sims 4 Vampires. My name is Travis Peter, and this is part seven. So, as you can tell, there's some, what is that giant tree off in the distance? Well, it is actually part of the home of a new, a new character in this series. Yes, I know it's really late in the series to introduce a new character, but he's a spooky character. So be excited. First of all, how amazing is this? This is called the Night Drinker Crypt. Um, is made in the gallery by Spectre Cody. So I did not make this. There's no way in the world that I would have been able to come up with this myself. But look at how amazing this is. This thing is, this is the one of the coolest builds I've ever seen on The Sims 4. I tried to see if there was like a speed build on YouTube and I don't think there is one. I couldn't find one. But if there is, let me know in the comments. But the person who lives here is dun 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 well, go to him <laughs> sorry there we go it is gavner vixar now he is a he's practicing the organ he actually doesn't know how to play the organ if you can tell he is very very bad very bad at it but you, you know what he's not bad at being evil he's a very evil vampire but he has just moved to town now, actually, just to give you a little tour of this place, just so you can see more of it, this is uh, supposed to be a lounge, and it is a lounge. He just happens to live here, but, I mean, how cool is this place? You come over here, there's, I mean, that looks amazing. There's bathrooms, the men's and the women's all looks the same. And in here is the main lounge area. There's even a little performance space that's like a little cathedral-y. And there's like these coffins on display over here with vampire urns on them. And then you go down, wait, here we go. You go down this long hallway and then in here, dun, 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 is where Gavner Vixar sleeps. And yeah, it's really sweet. And then in here, I noticed, I was, I couldn't figure out when I first saw this, what this room was for. But if you go up to the main, it like creates this mist across the doorway. Like I said, this is fucking brilliant. Whoever made this, like... Uh, it's amazing. At least I'm pretty sure that's where this mist is coming from. I think it's from the stuff down below. Anyway, this character, Gavner Vixar, was actually um, partly created and inspired by a contest winner. Back for my Sims 4 Murder Mystery series, I had a fan art contest and Fernanda won. And if you have seen a previous bonus episode where I had Fernanda and Joey Williams, she was one of the two winners from that as well. She, so she has now won contests on this on this channel twice but here it is she did, draw, drew some awesome fan art of the black widow who is the big bad of the second season of the sims 4 murder mystery series thought she did such an amazing job and so um the yeah the winner got to design another sim in the game and since she kind of already got a sim of her own i figured she'd get the opportunity to give me some ideas for this evil sim and so a lot of what, or most of what you see of him was inspired by what she told me, what she wanted to see in him. She did want him to have short green hair, which I thought ended up looking really great. I decided to give him some pointy ears and she wanted him to have purple eyes. And she did say she wanted him to be fashionable and colorful. So I figured my inspiration for his outfits is like a middle-aged man going through a midlife crisis. So what you'll kind of see is, I mean, it's, he, everything is just bright. He just, I, he wants to make himself feel more lively than his age is letting him feel um as you can tell is his, his desires to be a public enemy he's also hot-headed evil and mean so he is a bad guy <laughs> his formal attire very flashy very out there very colorful matches his eyes how lovely sporting attire very colorful and sleeps in an orange or he sleeps in an orange robe his party attire is just as bright and sparkly and colorful bright and sparkly and colorful was was exactly what she'd asked for which <laughs> ends up looking really great on this like really evil looking guy with this like really ridiculous outfit i don't know i love it and then swimming attire. I thought this was appropriate, little bat leggings. And uh, he just looks so ridiculous. And I could not, I laughed so hard when I put him in this. Now for his dark form, he does only have one form across all of the, the different outfits, but he just turns straight up devil. Um, her instruction was to have him have black and red hair, but then I just kind of went for it and made him completely red, so he just looks like a devil. And I think he looks so good. His ears get pointier, he's got red skin, his eyes get more sunken in, his eyes get red. He just, he looks, he just looks like a bad dude. A bad dude with a ridiculous haircut. <laughs> 
So Gavner Vixar has come to this town for a very specific purpose, which isn't isn't the most obvious yet. Wait, why are his ears not pointy? I thought I gave him pointy ears for his everyday attire. Oh, the Sim, so many glitches, so many glitches. Oh my God, look who's here. The main character of the whole series already in his vampire dark form, Alistair Shadow the Third. Let's just go ahead and give him a rude introduction right away. He's here to be mean. He's here to be rude. And he is going to cause some trouble any minute now, Gavner. Oh, you know what? I should turn on his... He can, like, poof everywhere. He's also a very high-powered vampire. He's, like, almost all of the powers and everything, which is which is good because he's a big, bad, evil vampire. Where is he? Oh, God. Do you have to walk that slow? Always move as mist. There we go. Now he should start moving a lot more speedier -y. Close it. <laughs> mean sims become happy when they say mean things to others. What's he doing? Is he like casting a spell on him? Okay, let's keep being mean. Insult his fang size. Look at those tiny little fangs, you weak little vampire. Oh, this is going. What is he doing? What? <laughs> Shadow just randomly starts singing. Make him stop doing that. There we go. Even I was getting mad about that, and Alistair's my boy. Oh my god, this is going so great. This is everything he's ever wanted. Yell at him. They're gonna go just jump into a vampire duel right away. Oh my god, here it happens. But is it like a bad fight? Like, this is gonna be a bad fight, right? Oh, there he is. Evil form. Two vampires facing off both master vampires, both ver- I guess we're not wanted here. No, you're not wanted here. I'm here to take over. I'm here to take over everything. Oh. Oh, he was just no match for Alistair. Alistair's too- Ooh. And Alistair zoomed off. Well, actually, Gavner needs to eat, so we need to find <laughs> the mailbox. This is way off in the back. I forgot to move that. Oh, poor <laughs> Alistair is eating. Oh, no, he's never... Or has he eaten off Hamza Gerda? I thought it was somebody else. Okay, I don't think she is a vampire, so let's detect personality, deprive hygiene. She's a loner, neat, and hot-headed. Okay, and now we're gonna drink plasma. He's thirsty. Oh, he made her stinky. His magic powers made her stinky. God, he looks so evil. <laughs> it's not working? What? It's because he's weak during the day. Maybe we need to deprive our energy. Is that gonna work? Oh, there we go. Now... Oh, I can't drink from her now because it didn't work that one time. Oh my god, and he's passed out there? Somebody has just done a number on all the mortals. Is Sky Taylor human? Oh, he doesn't have enough vampire energy to do this. Oh god. He needs to do a dark meditation because he needs to eat. He's getting thirsty. There we go. Just do dark meditation out in the open where people can see you. He looks It looks especially dark when he is so evil looking. Just look at him. Thinking evil thoughts. Oh, <laughs> that actually kind of gave me goosebumps <laughs> when he slowly opens his eyes. He looks very Darth Maul. Oh my god, is there a Darth Maul mod that I could get? Okay, I need a mortal. I need to summon a mortal. Oh, who's this? Alicia Rojas? So we're gonna deprive her bladder just to weaken her a little bit. Is he gonna poof? Oh, there he is. And then he's going to drain life spirit. Hopefully this works. He really needs a drink. Do it. Oh, God. I feel like this game has gotten worse with, like, canceled. He doesn't have enough. Compel for a deep drink, then. Hopefully he can at least do that. Ugh, it's not working. He's just going to have to go back and go to bed and start stocking at midnight. He is a little weak during the day. That's what I had. To, I, he, even though he can withstand the sunlight, the, one of his weaknesses is that he's weak. But I'm going to have a go ahead and vampiric slumber. He should regain energy pretty quickly that way. Oh, and it's like nighttime now. Well, it's like dusk. There's no more mortals. 
No more mortal sims. Where'd they all go? He might have to drink plasma for it, but that's not a very evil thing to do. Oh, here we go. Here's an unsuspecting mortal. Although, I think she gets it a lot. She's gotta learn to stop coming to Forgotten Hollow, because every time she comes here, bad stuff happens to her. Okay, let's make her have to pee. Come on, poof. There he is. Okay. There we go. Now, drain life spirit. He's poofing in front of her. I do like this poofing effect. I might have to have Alistair learn that one. Oh, there we go. Finally, he's gonna be able to get a drink. He looks like, and I realize after making him, he kind of looks like the Joker. Also, his face. If you watch one of my favorite shows that's um, going on right now, The Royals on E!, he looks like Cyrus from that show, like so much. So if you watch that show, let me know down in the comments because I've been really enjoying it. Just the third season just aired. Anyway, he looks like Cyrus, kind of. She's gonna pass out now. Ooh, there's Jada Harmonson. Let's ca cast a spell on her. Let's cause a hallucination on her. You didn't need to. You didn't need to poof. He definitely didn't need to poof. Oh, there we go. Okay, now we're gonna have him turn into his dark form. Now, now that it's now that it's nighttime, it's time that he begins his his mission for the night. His plan tonight is to slowly destroy Alistair Shadow's life, and he's going to start with Alistair Shadow's boyfriend. Vampiric entrance. Poof. Uh, I feel like it takes more time for him to, like, poof everywhere than it does for him to just walk there. It is time. First, we're going to seduce Alistair's boyfriend, cause a little trouble in paradise. Oh, he doesn't have enough vampiric energy to do this. So what I'm going to do is cheat. Everybody look away. Okay, so I cheated his needs. Sorry, everybody. How did he already use all of his energy? He really uses his energy fast. He needs to turn on his alluring visage. Visage. There we go. And he's going to use his magic vampire power to seduce Vincent Stroud. When is he? It takes him forever to poof. Will you poof already? Oh my god. <laughs> You're being really embarrassing right now, Gavner. <laughs> he's stalking his prey. <laughs> Oh, look at him. Look at the magics working on him. Okay, so we've been buttering him up a little bit with regular. So let's first of all ask if he's single, which he's probably going to say no, but evil Gavner Vixar does not care. I'm seeing someone, but that's not going to stop me. Let's go ahead and flirt with him. Oh my god, it's working. Oh my god, he gets so distracted by his phone. Pay attention. Let's flirt with him again. Ooh, there we go. That looked like a, a magic spell. Can they embrace? Or is he going to push him away? Okay, here we go. Here we go. It's working. It's finally working. Embrace him again, and then, oh my god, they're going to kiss. They're going to kiss, even though he's seeing someone. But it's out of his control. He's just being so deceptive with his magic alluring powers. Oh no, look at just this pink magic that's all around him. Oh no. <laughs> Poor Vincent doesn't know. He doesn't know that he's being tricked. Let's, and then he's gonna woohoo with them. He's gonna sleep with them. <gasps> oh no. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I'll meet you upstairs. I got a poof up there, so there he is. Hopefully they go to the same bedroom. You know, if you just walked up with him. I mean, who wouldn't want to sleep with someone that looked like this, right? <laughs> I mean, I suppose there's probably people who are into it. I mean, like, he's kind of hot in, like, a scary, I'm going to get eaten by him way, I suppose. <laughs> okay, are you... Okay, well, I'm going to fast forward. Okay, there we go. Oh, no. Gavner is about to have woohoo for the first time. Oh, how embarrassing. He's like a really old adult, 40-year-old virgin. <laughs> Which there's nothing wrong with that. Some people, you know, that's just how they choose to live their life. I'm gonna stop talking about that now. 
<laughs> but now you're gonna tell him. You're gonna tell him the truth. You're gonna insult his house. Trash. He's gonna trash Alistair Dado. He's gonna be like, you know what? I am here to destroy his life, and now you've done a bad thing. And I'm gonna go tell your boyfriend. He can't be all that bad. <laughs> Criticize woohoo techniques. He's gonna be like, it wasn't even good. Your woohooing was really subpar. Insult his fang size. Oh, he's really sad about it too. He's embarrassed. Dismiss goodness. Goodness is stupid. Don't be good. Why are they laughing about it? Oh, he just leveled up his, um, this, whatever this is, his aspiration. Okay, so now that he has sufficiently offended Alistair's boyfriend, we're gonna go straight to Alistair. Wait, where am I going? <laughs> now he's just gonna let himself in, as he does, because he's evil. Oh, and Alistair's at the computer, you can see him in there. And he says to himself, aha, I have been in this house before. This is not the first time I have been in this house. Poof. Where did he go? Oh, he always wants to play chess. Stop doing that, you weirdo. You need to be mean to him. Knock his outfit. Declare enemy. They are now enemies. Because what he's gonna tell him is gonna shock him. He's like, Alistair. I knew your grandfather, the grandfather who left you this house. I was young with him, and the same vampire turned both of us, and it was I who killed your grandfather! <laughs> yes, that's right, Gavner Vixar is the one who killed Alistair Shadow the Third, or the First, Alistair Shadow the Third's grandfather. He's gonna mesmerize him with his magic. Oh, Alistair's just too powerful. Deprive hygiene. There we go. Oh, it's not working. <laughs> Fine, you know what? Let's just fight. <laughs> Gavner Vixar is not as powerful as Alistair Shadow the Third, it looks like. He's just really embarrassed about it, too. I'd feel sorry for him if he wasn't so evil. Oh. So let's take this outside. We're gonna fight one more time. Who do you think's gonna win? Pause the video, let me know in the comments who you think's gonna win. Oh god, it looks like he is winning. Oh no! Is Gavner Vixar, the evil Gavner Vixar, gonna win? Oh no, Alistair Shadow pulled out victorious in the end. So, Gavner is actually gonna just quick peace out because he's losing real bad and he's gonna go home. <laughs> just all by himself. And on his way out, he's gonna be like, OPS oh, slept with your boyfriend. <laughs> and as Gavnar Vixar, Gavner Vixar goes into his coffin for his vampiric slumber, I'm gonna, underneath the glowing light of the plasma tree that's somehow growing inside, probably with a cheat, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here. So make sure to like this video and click subscribe because, as I said in the last episode, now there's only one more episode after this one. So the, the series finale is coming next week. We're going to see, now that, now that the, the evil person who's killed Sha Alistair Shadow the first has been revealed, what's going to happen? Let me know down in the comments what do you think's going to happen? What would you like to see in the final episode of The Sims 4 Vampires? Of course, we will still see these characters again. I may do more episodes in the future, but you know, my Sims 4 murder mystery series is like my heart. It's the, it's my passion. It's the one I'm most excited about. So I'm really excited to get back to that. And yeah, that's everything. I think everything. Yes. Make sure to like and subscribe. Have I said that? I think I did. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Bye.